हेलो एवरीवन एंड थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग एडुपीडिया वर्ल्ड वीडियोस इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू वैल्यू इन्वेंटरी बाय फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट मेथड फॉर दिस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस क्वेश्चन व्हिच वी हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड हियर नाउ लेट अस start our work and the very first thing we have to do is to make a format in which we can easily calculate the balance at the end of each day for the inventory now there would be three basic columns one of receipts next of issues and finally the balance under these we have three columns again first we'll mention the units then rate per unit and then the total amount for issues also mention unit rate and amount and same for the balance rate and amount is in rupees term or you can use dollar term now in the first column we'll mention the date the date here so let's start with the first entry that we have opening stock as on 1st of january 2011 is nil so what we can do is let us first segregate this
so as the opening stock as on 1st of January 2011 was nil so the balance would remain nil now as on 1st of January 2011 we have purchased 100 units at 30 rupees per unit so the purchases are accounted in receipt columns so we'll mention the number of units then the rate per unit and then the amount is the multiplication of rate into number of units so now the balance amount is receipt subtracted with issues so we don't have any issues here so the balance amount is now we come to the next entry on 15th of January on 15th of January 2011 the company has issued 50 units for consumption now we have only one kind of inventory here that is having a cost of 30 rupees per unit so we can only issue that particular inventory so we'll issue 50 unit of that inventory so the amount would be multiplied with this now the balance amount is 100 minus the issued amount rate remains the same and the balance is multiplied with the unit left now we come to the third entry that is for 1st of Feb 2011 the company has again purchased 200 units at 40 rupees per unit so we'll account that in receipt column and the balance would be the total amount would be number of units multiplied by the rate now we have two kind of inventory here so we'll account both of them in our inventory but the inventory which was there at first would be mentioned at the start after that we'll mention the next inventory that has been received and accounted in the balance now now we come to the next entry that is the company has again issued 100 units for consumption so now comes the tricky part what we have to do here is first we have to finish off those inventories which has been received or purchased prior to the inventory B that is which one is received at rupees 40 so if we 
means name inventory is as inventory A and B. So inventory A has been received prior to inventory B. So we have to finish the inventory A before we move on to inventory B. So first we'll issue inventory A and 50 units of inventory A is left so we'll issue that the amount would be 1500 then we'll issue 50 amount 50 units of inventory B now the balance for inventory A comes to zero so we de uh, means uh, we do not need to account that and balance of uh, inventory B comes to 150 and you can account that in our balance column now again we have this entry of consumptions so again the company issues 100 units of consumption uh, 100 units uh, for consumption so now we are left with only inventory B so uh, we can only issue inventory B and uh, the number of units are 100 the rate is 40 so we multiply these to find the amount and the balance left is 100 minus 100 the rate remains 40 the balance is 200 rather 2000 so this is how we prepare A valuation schedule for inventory and uh, as we can see that uh, as on 31st of March 2011 because uh, uh, after means 20th Feb 2011 there has been no transaction so the value the value of stock at the as on as on 31st of March 2011 would be 50 multiplied with 40 that is equal to 2000 which has already been mentioned in our balance so you can also mark these you want to so this is how we value stock on the basis of FIFO method and in the next session we'll discuss how to value stock by weighted average cost method hope this video helps Thank you for watching this video.